Sports Fishback with the weather, Larry Carroll at the live action camera desk, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, everybody. Here is the latest tonight at 5 o'clock. She left us all too soon. Karen Carpenter, whose soft and mellow voice was known to millions, died at the hospital in Downey this morning of cardiac arrest. Karen and her brother Richard, as the Carpenters, soared to success in the 1970s, putting romance back into popular music. All told, they sold some 60 million albums. Karen Carpenter rushed to Downey Community Hospital this morning by paramedics after collapsing at her parents' home nearby. All efforts to save her failed. She was pronounced dead this morning at 9.51. Carpenter was the victim of anorexia, a compulsion to diet which can lead to starvation. It's not known yet whether anorexia was partly responsible for her death at the very young age of 32. Some of Karen's fans, hearing the news, gathered outside the hospital. But they were good people and they've always helped Downey out as far as I... As far as I know, uh, they've been around here all their lives, and they've done a lot for Downey, and they donated band equipment to uh, Downey schools, and they've done a lot to help the community. And A longtime resident of Downey, Karen Carpenter, had attended the local high school there. It was while there that her musical talent got its first recognition. She played the drums, was part of Downey High's marching band, and sang in the choir. The Carpenters first won real attention when they won the Battle of the Bands in 1966. Their first recording contract was with Herb Alpert of A&M Records, and from then on, only success, the Grammy Awards, and numbers of gold records. Karen's songs made a significant change in the musical tastes of the 1970s, from hard to soft and romantic rock. A loss to the entire world of music, and to all of us, Karen Carpenter dead at the very young age of 32. And... You've been talking about it, Paul. She accomplished a great deal in the short time that she was alive. Karen Carpenter brought happiness to millions of people around the world who enjoyed her music and followed her career. Our Nancy Gold is with us right now for more on Karen's songs and her life. Nancy. It's hard to believe, Ann. So sad. She had only just begun to live. A tragedy befell Hollywood and the world today, having learned of the sudden death of singer Karen Carpenter, a woman who had dedicated her life to song. Sing. Sing a song, make it simple to last your whole life long. Karen and her brother Richard created the Carpenter Sound. It was their distinctive close harmonies and sweet tones that helped to establish a trademark that was known indelibly as the Carpenter Sound worldwide. During the 1970s, their romantic overdub style crept from top 40 AM radio to the FM dials, easy listening, and some crossover country stations. Songs like We've Only Just Begun, Close to You, Top of the World, and For All We Know have long remained Carpenter classics. A high point in her career, the 70s, awarded the Carpenters huge success. They sold over 60 million albums worldwide and received several awards. First of all, I'd like to thank all the members of Naris and our producer Jack Dougherty and Herb Alpert and Jerry Moss of A&M Records. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There was plenty of white lace and promises for Karen Carpenter, but some of these promises led to personal disappointment. When I She was married on September 2nd to Thomas Barris of Newport Beach and was in the process of a divorce before she died. 
The last time Karen made a public appearance was a few weeks ago. When the Grammy Award nominations were announced, she was happy to be out with her friends. A lot of times things like this get everybody that hasn't seen each other for so long back together. It's, it's a big party. And the moment I can today I spoke with Olivia Newton-John, who was one of Karen's closest friends. She was greatly shocked and saddened by her death, but made these comments, and I quote, She was always concerned about other people. She was really a loving person. I'll miss her terribly. She was a loyal and wonderful friend. We will miss her, too. Yes, we will, Nancy. Coming up at 6 o'clock, Dr. William Rader will be here with more on Karen Carpenter and particularly more on this dieting disorder, anorexia. So recently, she had built out a bit. She had gained about 25 pounds. And uh, like I said, she was really up and thrilled about going back into the studio recording and getting back on the road and getting on with her life. And it's just so sad to think she's gone. Karen Carpenter, cardiac arrest. She was only 32. Thank you, Gary. 